Andre, you're definitely one of the most skilled and talented boxers of this generation, from the gold medal to everything you've done since. But there have been these periods of inactivity due to injuries, due to promotional things. How do you justify to yourself holding someone as talented as you are, sort of out of the ring where you do your best work, and the best work in the world, really, that can be done in the ring? I don't, I don't know if I understand it, but how do I justify that? Yeah, when there are months go by, going by, like, and you are not in fights. And, you know, this has happened in your career at several points, and I'm not, you know, debating the issues, but if I were really, really good at something, I would want to do it, because that's the thing I'm really good at. Uh, well, I mean, boxing's not it, but boxing is it for you, and you've been on the shelf at various points, and it's got to be hard, and I'm wondering how you justify it, you know, how you, you know, don't figure out a way to make it happen when you're so good there. Well, it's not that easy, you know. It's not that easy, um, and it's interesting because I, you know, I talked to Jim Lampley about this, and I've spoken about this uh, leading up to my last fight. Um, the inactivity periods, they, they kind of are what they are, you know. It's not. I, I'm not going to allow it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not going to allow it to to uh, overshadow my career and, and, and be the, you know, be the main focus of my career. I mean, if somebody camps around that, then that's a bigger issue. And I think, you know, we understand what I'm saying there. Um, we obviously have talked about, you know, the lawsuit situation probably more than we should have. I couldn't fight. I'll say it again, I, I wasn't allowed to fight. I couldn't fight. Well, let me change the question. Are we going to see you more often going forward now that we can? Because we want to see you. Everyone in this room wants to see you all the time. I'm, I'm, trying, to answer the, I'm trying to answer the first question. So I, the lawsuit situation, I couldn't fight. Um, beyond that, like, an injury is an injury. You know, I, I've been boxing, you know, almost 12 years now as a professional. And I think in a 12 year period, and, and probably 20 years total, um, and training the way that I do it, you know, those kind of things happen, man. You know, I've got thousands of miles on the pavement. Uh, I've got thousands of miles in, in, in the boxing gym. Things are gonna happen. And, you know, I think a lot of focus is centered around, you know, that happened instead of, man, you persevered through that again and got to this point. We're, look, we're, talk, we're, we're here to talk about right now, you know, arguably the biggest fight in boxing. I agree. And, and not only that, but um, God willing, you know, when I come through this fight, again, it's our, I'm arguably the best fighter in the world. So we were just saying those, 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 those are chapters in, in a long story. And again, I don't know why, you know, and, and it's a great question. I'm just trying to, trying to answer it. I don't know why we camp around those things, but they kind of are what they are. It's life, man. It's not, you know. So a lot of boxers suck, so we want to see the good ones. That's why we're arguing. Yeah, but I, I mean, don't care about the public. No, no, no. But, I mean, but I'm just saying, like, the question is kind of almost if, as if I'm, you know, I'm home kicking my feet up and I don't want to fight. Oh, no, of course not, man. There's things that are out of my hands, and then I got I got to put on a different hat and say, okay, how are we going to get through this one? You know, you so. You see TV where your guys are like, come on, man. And you're at the top level. Who do you would rather see those okay. guys than you? Of course it's you. So it's not about. I respect all fighters, though. You know what I mean. So I, I can't say it like that. But I understand you. Well, I can. Yeah, but I, I mean, I, I, can, I, I so, don't have to agree. I'd like to jump in with another question. I'd like, add, I'd like to add one thing, though. To Andre's point, I mean, we're constantly hearing about this inactivity. You know, when you think about November 19, Andre will go four, four times in 18 months. That's an average of four and a half months. A fight every four and a half months, right? Yeah. Let's think about the last 18 months, as opposed to what happened two and a half years ago prior to that. He's been very active and he's going to continue to be active. But that's, if he's going to okay. continue to be active, then anyone's going to that's be active. That's the story. That's what we want. We just want Andre. That's, so, right. that's, that's, that's history. history. But this is the reality, though. Whether you're a fan, whether, if you're a true fan, which I've seen true fans and supporters through the good, the bad, and the ugly, they're not going anywhere. They ride with me through it all. You know, and they're, they're the reason I got through those periods in time because they didn't jump off the wagon. They said, man, look, we love you, man. Get through this. We want to see you back in the ring. And really, that's what it's all about. I can't, like, it, it's not my responsibility to, um, you know, make everybody happy. I'm trying to get through this thing. I'm trying to figure it out as I go. And I'm trying to do the best job that I can. But of course, of course, I want to be in the ring. That's, how, that's literally how, how I provide for my family. But if I'm not in the ring, uh, it's for a reason. And, and nobody in this room, no, no, no fan around the world could want me in the ring and being active more than I want to be. But you got to go through things. I wasn't the first fighter and I won't be the last.